This video focuses on the two-handed insertion of the hormonal IUD, a long-acting reversible contraceptive. It is safe for almost all women and over 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. For this IUD insertion, you will need these instruments and supplies. Hormonal IUD in its sterile packaging, gloves, uterine sound, either disposable plastic or metal, tenaculum, speculum, blunt tip scissors, and antiseptic solution and swab. Prior to any IUD insertion, you should perform a bimanual exam to confirm the shape, size, and direction of the uterus. Insert the speculum and clean the cervix two to three times with the antiseptic solution. Next, apply the tenaculum to the cervix at the 12 o'clock position. Use the tenaculum to gently apply traction to align the cervical canal and uterine cavity. Then, insert the uterine sound to measure the depth of the fundus. Now that we have sounded the uterus, we can prepare the IUD for insertion. First, let's review the parts of the insertion package. Insertion tube, flange, IUD, IUD strings, rod, ring of rod, first top, and second bottom indents. Keeping the IUD in its sterile package, place the IUD packet on a flat surface and open from the bottom only one third of the way up. Pick up the threads to remove them from the flange and hold the threads and insertion tube with one hand. Use the other hand to remove the rod from the package and insert it into the insertion tube until the tip of the rod is at the five centimeter marker. Hold the inserter tube and rod firmly between the thumb and the index finger. With the other hand, grasp the threads and pull the IUD down slowly into the insertion tube until the knobs of the lateral arms cover the distal opening of the tube, forming a hemispherical dome at the top. Keep a firm hold on the tube and rod to maintain position. The top of the rod should be touching the bottom of the IUD and the bottom of the tube should align with the first indent of the rod. Through the sterile package, set the blue flange so that the upper edge corresponds to the sounded measurement of the uterus. Ensure that the flange is perpendicular to the arms of the IUD. Maintain a firm hold on the tube and rod and remove the loaded IUD insertion tube from the package. Gently align the cervical canal again with the tenaculum. Then slide the loaded IUD through the cervical canal. Stop when the upper end of the flange is 1.5 to 2 centimeters away from the cervix. This will leave enough room at the fundus for the IUD arms to open in the next step. Do not advance the flange to the cervix. Next, gently release your hold on the tenaculum and grab the ring of the rod to hold it steady. To release the arms of the IUD from the insertion tube, gently pull back the insertion tube to the bottom, second notch in the rod. This allows the arms of the IUD to expand in the lower uterine segment. Wait 10 to 15 seconds for the arms to fully open while holding the insertion tube and rod steady. You can now let go of the rod and once again apply gentle traction to the tenaculum. Next, advance the insertion tube and rod to the uterine fundus, stopping when you feel a slight resistance. At this point, the flange should be touching the cervix and the IUD should be in place at the uterine fundus. Next, again, gently release your hold on the tenaculum and grab the ring of the rod to hold it steady. To release the IUD from the insertion tube, 
gently pull the insertion tube back to the ring of the rod. You should feel a pop when the IUD comes out of the insertion tube. Holding the insertion tube steady, withdraw the rod from the insertion tube all the way out to prevent it from catching on the knot at the lower end of the IUD. This could result in the IUD being dislodged. Then remove the insertion tube. Finally, trim the strings with scissors, leaving three centimeters of string outside of the cervix. Again, take care not to pull the strings or the IUD may become displaced. Release the tenaculum from the cervix, ensuring hemostasis at the tenaculum sites and remove the speculum. Once the IUD has been placed, remind the patient of warning signs of complications, when to return for a checkup, and when the IUD should be removed. Let us briefly review the key points of the insertion of a hormonal IUD.